Hi guys, my name is Alec Reis, I hope you're doing well and I welcome you to my new video. This time we're going to talk about Jetpack Compose and how we can achieve the famous drop shadow effect on hex composables. But first, let's take a look at what we're going to achieve. So as you can see, here we have just a very simple example, just a small text and if you zoom in we can see we have a drop shadow it's slightly blurred and yeah you just can separate a component from the actual background with this effect let's start by taking a look at how we could achieve this effect not in jetpack compose but in the xml way of defining ui layouts so the first step is to create a activity that's inherited from app compat activity and we just define a simple layout um, we call it um, activity drop shadow example create a new layout resource file and now we just um, change the parent layout to uh, frame layout and now we just create a simple text view match the width and wrap the height and now we just need to add a um, nice text and we call it drop shadow example text and now we add a shadow rate radius of um, let's say 0 0.1 or let's stick to 0 0.5 and the next thing is a shadow dx um, that will be let's say 2 and also shadow the Y and that will be about four. So this is just the actual offset of the shadow. It's um, two downward and add two sidewards to the right and for the bottom. Now we just can um, add some more parameters. One is for example, the text size, uh, just like you know it probably. Um, and also the shadow color, um, I've prepared the color black alpha 25, that is just um, a black color with alpha of 25%. And now we can try our effect out. Ah, and let's add a small margin of uh, horizontal margin of say 16 dp and we also um, center our um, text view inside the frame layout and you can see the preview here and you see this small drop shadow effect so now that we saw how we can implement this effect in the legacy way let's come to the interesting part how can we achieve this effect with a text composable? I prepared a little example here that uh, just builds up the standard stuff we need to implement our Compose UI and we implement the actual text part in the drop shadow article example. And um, we start by the first of two options I will show you. And that is just a little trick. We will uh, stack two texts above and one of these will be representing the shadow. So we start by declaring a text composable that will allow us to <clears throat> use a yeah, text uh, to, dis to display a text. And yeah, drop shadow text effect will be the text. And we also um need a modifier and this modifier will actually do the 
um, most stuff for us to achieve the drop shadow effect. And that is first, the first thing is that we need an alpha. We set it to 0 0.5 and we will also use the offset and we can use like uh, two for the X axis and for just like in our previous example, um, which is of course DP and not a float. And we can also use one uh, modifier that is called blur, but um, this effect will, uh, this will only work in Android 12 and above. So yeah, I don't wonder if you don't get the effect on previous devices. And we can use a yeah, radius like 20 dp or anything you like. And now we just need the text color. Truly black. And then we already have our shadow. But for sure we also want our actual text above that uh, drop shadow, which will just be um, uh, simple um, normal text, which will also fill the max width. We also add this here. So that should be it. And now we just wrap it inside the inside a box um, so that will take the frame layout part from the legacy example I showed you previously and <clears throat> now we just need to um, set the alignment of the, the content alignment of the box which will be center and now let's reduce the radius to 0 0.5 which will look a lot of lot better and as we can see we achieve a nice um, drop shadow effect on this composable as i said i want to show you two options how you can implement this effect so let's take a look at the second option this time we don't make use of a modifier but um, we will use the text style which comes with um, for example the material theme and will manipulate it to yeah, show a shadow effect which will be the drop shadow effect finally so um, we don't need to do that much, but um, we will just add a text style and we can use the one we get from the material theme. Of course, you can um, customize it, but we will just use the default one, typography H4, and copy that and manipulate the shadow. And now we just need to add a shadow from the Compose UI graphics and can adapt the color, the offset, and also the blur radius. So if I use the color here, I will also take uh, black and we add an offset which will be once again two and four. And finally, we just have the blur radius, which will be once again 0 0.5. And sorry, it's not text style, it's only style. So now we get rid of the warning here. And if we run our example, We can once again see that we have our drop shadow effect. You can see it's a little bit uh, different than the previous one, but with a little bit of tweaking, we will achieve the exact same effect. This time, um, the benefit of using the 
Textile approaches that the blur effect will also be supported on previous devices uh, before Android 12. So that might be an option for you. Thank you for watching my video guys. I hope you had some takeaways. If you want to check out the code snippets, get on my Medium article, I linked it down in the description. Like the video, activate the notification bell and I hope I see you soon.